We're basically going on a taco ramble today. So we're gonna sample a bunch of different varieties. I don't think New York has great Mexican food. Taco Mix opened its doors in 1991. My family uh, immigrated here from Mexico. My parents started this business and since then have grown it into what it is today. The authenticity is really born from a true food culture in Mexico City and it sort of diffuses here when we say one thing here, eat real tacos. There's a lot of taco shops in New York, but having that authentic and true experience is important for us. This place is most famous for a kind of taco called Taco El Pastor. Now, do you know what that is? El Pastor. Okay. You really don't know what that is, do you? No. <laughs> so I've been a bad father in not educating you. So El Pastor is a famous taco which was developed really from Lebanese immigrants who went to Mexico and they took their stacks of shawarma and they put pineapples in it to flavor it and sweeten it and then they carve off the charred end bits and then serve it as a taco. The, like the lifetime of a, of a fresh taco is about 30 seconds so I'm gonna dig in. Me too. Me too. Do you know the correct way to eat a taco? See you're supposed to do it like sideways like that. Mm. 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 Fresh and sweet and porky, mm. filling and real, yes or no? Mm. I'm, good. I'm not sensing a lot of like uh, excitement about your first Taco El Pastor. There's not enough salt. She likes salt. There's not enough salt. What are, what are the other problems? Kind of plain. Plain. <laughs> I think I need some spice. Penelope gives it a two out of five. I'll give it a three and a half, four out of five. But the peppers are here. Ah, 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 ah. Dad, can we go try some tacos at a place that's more my speed? You want something that's something more millennial, more like uh, more, 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 more gimmicky, more colorful? Yes. We can arrange that. Maybe you wait out on the street while I finish these? Sure. Here we are, taco joint number two. We're at a, a place where it's popular a restaurant in the East Village on 2nd Avenue called The Black Ant. As you can see, it's a very stylish, very Penelope-like. It's famous for its high-angle, risque tacos. Black Ant uh, is a modern firm Mexican cuisine. We try to rescue some recipes from Mexico. We serve it with our own twist. For example, black uh, calamarín tortilla. We try to respect every single ingredient, every single step that uh, those uh, grandmas teach us in Oaxaca. Our cuisine is full of flavors, uh, smells, aromas, colors, histories, and a lot of love. This is the beets. Oh. This is the lechon, the pork. Oh, thank okay. you. Oh, wow. These are pretty big. I'm going to try this beet number. I mean, it's a beet taco, so it tastes like beets, basically. How's that? Mm, good. You like that? Really? She likes it. Dig in. So scary. I'm scared. Why are you scared about beets? Never had beets before. What do you mean you never had beets before? It has a nice little sweetness. Yeah, well, beets are sweet. And a cilantro. I like Cilantro. That adds a nice touch. Okay. So that's two for two for you. Let's try the grasshoppers. Come on. Are you positive they're covered in grasshoppers? No, they're not covered in, no. There's no grasshoppers here. No. It's got some nice fresh radishes on here. All sorts of stuff. The tortilla is like very blue corny. Mmm. 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 Good? I'd say it's got a nice depth of crunch to it. It's my favorite. Mm. Right? Mm -hmm. It's like a Japanese panko crust, except it's grasshopper. No, I can't. Yeah. What? Mm -hmm. Just as long as I don't mention the word grasshopper, you're fine? She's fine. As long as I don't mention the word grasshopper. 
I'm gonna have another bite. Even though I'm having dinner in half an hour, I'm gonna have another bite of my grasshopper. I think this place is a lot better than the other place. Why? Because they look better. Not so like fast moving, like you need to get out of here, more people are coming. That's called a real restaurant. And they taste good. And I would bring my friends here. Well, that's key. All right, so I think it's getting a five stars from her. I'll give it a nice solid three stars. This is a genre of taco in New York City and everywhere else, which is really sort of not even a taco, right? It's sort of a hybrid between sort of an idea of a taco and a taco itself. But I think they're good, they're perfectly good. But they lack the sort of immediacy of the real thing. That's uh, what, six, seven, eight, nine, ten tacos in two hours? <laughs> yeah. And uh, I, I enjoyed every minute of it. Uh, maybe let's, let's get another one. Possibly. Gasson? Got so wrong language. <laughs>